with me on this Friday morning, well, Jeff Seeker and David Barnson joins us as well. First to you, David, is this decline? Now we're down 200 points. Is this all about tariffs and that's it? Yes, it is. Uh, interesting factoid of yesterday, the steel stocks market cap was up a billion dollars. The rest of the market was down $400 billion, hmm. a very symbolic indicator of what protectionism does. A little winner and then a huge loser. You don't like this in, in market terms? You don't like this in economic terms? You don't like it? No, I'm a free market capitalist. I do not like it. I you think it's like it. awful. Okay, we got it, David. Jeff Seeker, is this all about tariffs? That, is that the name of this game? I think awful is a good way to describe these tariffs. They're, they're, they're atrocious. Big sales drop at the American Outdoor Brands. That's the parent of Smith & Wesson. It's a gun company, obviously. And the company says that demand is not expected to pick up for the next 12 to 18 months. I've got to say, David, I'm surprised with a lot of talk about gun control that usually lifts the gun makers. And it's down 5%. Yeah, so I think that this is responding to what they had just done quarter prior. And yet the forward guidance does seem surprising based on on the kind of recent conversation, normally the catalyst pushes it forward. Maybe they're setting themselves up for a big spike after next quarter. We'll see. It was certainly a big drop, and there you have it. Cue the organ music. Uh oh. J.C. Penney sales are down, and it didn't give a very rosy forecast. David, I don't like the look of that. Um, is it going to survive? Uh, no, probably not. But we just only look at the bond spreads there. Let the credit markets tell you what's going to happen. But uh, from the equity standpoint, obviously, there's people who could trade around it. We wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot Yeah, that's a trading vehicle. That's right. You jump in and you, you sell it 10 minutes later yes. if you get five cents. But we we find that a little outside of our mandate. By the way, we are now down 330 points. We're back to 24,281. David, uh, the last hour of trading, especially mm -hmm. on a Friday afternoon, is always the one to watch out for and be careful of. What's going to happen? I, I, this is a very difficult question. What's going to happen in the last yeah, hour? Yeah, well, you know what? I, I really do believe the most bullish thing that could happen today is if we drop six, seven hundred, not two, three hundred, four hundred. I think the administration needs to get the message that this is more severe. He has a grand total of two people telling him this is a good idea. He has twenty people telling him it's a terrible idea. But he believes he tweeted eight different times this morning something to the effect of, "No, no, no, it's going to be just fine." 200, 300 points is not going to be enough. There needs to be a clear signal that markets are not going to withstand an actual threat of tariff war. We're not even talking about what it means to the NAFTA negotiation. We're not even talking about Canada. There's six and a half million jobs in companies that use steel. There's 140,000 jobs in companies that make steel. The, the, the odds are dramatically against him on this one. I think a big washout will perhaps cause him to recalibrate what he's doing and then maybe next week allow us to recover in a more healthy manner. I've got to say it's highly unlikely that this president will turn around on Monday morning and change his mind.